Okay, so if you go to our website, you'll find prolotherapy, which is a treatment option for lower limb and foot related conditions. So if we click on it, we'll see that prolotherapy um, is a type of injection. All right, it's known as proliferation therapy. Um, and what it involves in is injecting um, a non-active irritant solution in the body, right, to generate a, a, inf a repair or healing response. And it can, can be used for a variety of conditions. So if we just Google prolotherapy, the definition that we get is prolotherapy is an injection treatment used to relieve pain. Um, your healthcare provider will inject a small amount of irritant into your body. Well, now what an irritant means, it means either saline, which is like uh, the sterile salt water, or uh, glucose, um, dextrose, which is like a sugar solution, um, which is most commonly uh, used. And the claims that it relieves the pain by jump-starting your body's natural healing abilities. So by injecting the prolotherapy or the glucose or the saline into the ligament or into the joints or into the tendons that are damaged, then that will promote um, healing. That will promote an inflammation response and will also uh, promote healing. And we see that you know prolotherapy is an injection-based treatment used for chronic musculoskeletal conditions um, and it is categorized as an alternative medicine practice. So what that means is generally because it's not a pharmaceutical drug it's considered to be an alternative however um, we hear a lot about it in sports medicine we hear a lot about it uh, in especially in rehabilitation therapy um, in forms of obviously injection and in healing um, ligaments and generally it's considered to be a safe injection because it's a non-pharmaceutical product it's just tricking pretty much the body in um, prompting the healing process so just some of the information that you get here uh, you know what is the success rate of prolotherapy you know some have mentioned you know 80 to 90 percent success rate um, depending but that all depends on where you're injecting how much you're injecting the, the amount of injections is prolotherapy better than cortisone um, the risk of side effects of cortisone also increase with number of injection. If you're looking for a safer, or more long-term treatment for joint pain, you should consider prolotherapy. So there is a lot of information out there. And there is a um, sports medicine clinic with sport medicine doctors that offer prolotherapy. So it is sort of within mainstream, but because it's a non-pharmaceutical uh, drug, then generally you know, people refer to it as alternate. But it's considered to be a form of treatment. And in my personal experience, it has had a lot of success in treating an, a variety of, of, of patients with a variety of different um, different conditions. And we'll look at some of that too. So, you know, you'll find that it's used from podiatrists to, you know, um, sports medicine doctors. Even if you look into the US, you'll find that sometimes orthopedic surgeon and other type of musculoskeletal doctors also use this type of injection. So pretty much if we look at some of the research, now there is a lot of research out there, however we're more related to lower limb. This is one that is, is, is a very known um, research, it's back in 2013. Um, dextrose, which is sugar water, pleurotherapy for knee osteoarthritis, a randomized control trial. What a randomized control trial means is that they, they weren't, the patients didn't know if they were receiving the real treatment or the false treatment and they were randomized and there was also a fake treatment it pretty much means that some people were blinded to even getting the injection and some were receiving the injection but no one knew what they were receiving why so there was no bias in reporting the outcomes and this had 99 adults sorry 90 adults uh, with at least three months of, of knee pain that were randomized um, to blinded uh, injection it goes into detail we don't want to get into too much but pretty much from the conclusion of this randomized control trial is prolotherapy resulted in clinical meaningful sustained improvements of pain function and stiffness scores 
for knee osteoarthritis compared with blinded saline injections you know and at home exercises meaning prolotherapy had a lot more of a better result in regards to pain function and stiffness than people that received an alternate treatment or no treatment at all you know and you can get into the details of studies but however generally you'll find that a lot of the studies favor prolotherapy at the same time some studies depending on the condition depending on how bad the damage is done uh, have sort of mixed results and I guess that's like with any type of treatment even pharmaceutical treatments sometimes they work really well on patients sometimes they don't it all it's all dependent on the prescription the the length or the time that it was taken and at the same time how much the patient is willing to go through like for example one sh study shows that prolotherapy is successful in reducing back pain when it's combined with exercises when it's combined with exercises so if a patient has the injection they'll only receive the benefit if it's combined with um, certain exercises if they don't do the exercise they're not going to benefit from the actual injection uh, this is just another study in regards to you know it's just an observational study um, with prolotherapy in regards to foot and, and toe pain don't want to get too much detail into it it's not a strong study but it just gives a little bit of outline that there is uh, positive reporting out there in, in, in the treatment of you know foot related conditions uh, in 19 patients or 100% had improvements of their pain and stiffness when it says 100% had improvements that could mean that you know some of them improved a little bit you know but you know everyone reported some improvement even if it's small or large 84% experienced 50% or more of pain relief okay so 84% experienced 50% or more of pain relief uh, and it helped patients large improvement in walking and exercise ability so pretty much in conclusion from this study that uh, dextrose or glucose um, helped cause large decreases in pain and stiffness and improve clinical relevant quality of life uh, parameters in people with unresolved foot and toe pain meaning pretty much that they found that when they gave injection to people that had foot related issues or toe related issues um, in regards to pain that prolotherapy uh, helped um, reduce pain but then again like I said this is not you know, it's not a randomized it's just an observational study but it shows that there is a positive result and there's there's like hundreds of, of research out there but generally when we use prolotherapy okay we use it for these conditions so we find a lot of success in prolotherapy when it comes down to treating in these conditions um, so generally the blood supply in the area so the result of prolotherapy is that initiates a localized inflammation um, to these weakened or damaged areas it causes an increase of blood supply and with the blood supply it brings nutrients um, you know from the you know the white blood cells and, and uh, T cells and, and repair cells uh, resulting in um, growth factors right and fibroblasts which is cells from the connective tissue to develop um, which then develop collagen anyway pretty much it triggers the healing process of you know the damaged tissue and at the same time research has shown that you know with prolotherapy these ligaments have gotten stronger and have repaired when you know they've done comparison studies with MRI the treatment of of um, prolotherapy can be used for osteoarthritis of the knee however we're not talking about severe osteoarthritis uh, when it's like bone on bone there needs to be cartilage there needs to be some soft tissue there uh, knee ligament injuries that's i find a lot of success in treating li um, knee ligament in injuries when it's regarding for example the collateral ligaments and straining of the of the ligaments around the knee uh, i find a lot of sort of success achilles um, tendonitis or, or tendinopathy it, again a lot of success in treating that um, but however that's in relation to also exercises and possible orthotics you can't just sort of leave that alone because you've got to reduce the tension of the achilles lateral ankle sprains so people that have delayed healing um, or pain from from ankle sprains that turn into sort of chronic uh, can help really well plantar fasciitis generally like i said we try to avoid injecting the heel because of the fat tissue it is very very painful um, but we have done um, a couple in the past with, with good success but in um, sort of conjunction with orthotics osgood slatters which is a childhood condition a teenage condition where there's pain at the front of the knee 
Um, four foot pain and sporting injuries are just general terms. So yeah, it can be used. However, um, there must be a certain level, right, of the ability for the body to repair. So if you have a ruptured ligament, then it's not going to repair. If you have a ruptured ligament, um, it's not going to pay. It repair. It has to be, you know, a strain, you know, maybe a grade one, grade two. It, all that comes part of the consulta consultation and determining the best way. So pretty much what is the difference of cortisone and uh, prolotherapy? Um, like we mentioned um, in other videos, that cortisone does have a lot of side effects. Cortisone is the opposite, you can say, pretty much. So cortisone weakens tendons and sometimes causes tendon tendons to rupture. So it's an anti-inflammatory, but prolotherapy is a pro-inflammatory. Pro so it causes an inflammation response. Generally, it's not too expensive. You know, looking you know from thirty to eighty dollars per injection. Um, does it hurt? Uh, we do mix it with local anesthetic. You do have a mild inflammation response, so generally it's not too bad. Uh, normally, two to three injections, and if you get good results with two to three injections, there may be a fourth. If after two or three injections there's no result, then generally that means that it's not going to work for you, and the damage is is, is pretty much. You know beyond um, repair of what prolotherapy prior can do so you know obviously we always advise patients to do their research you know we give our, our recommendations we see what fits best for for treatments uh, we do um, look at the patient's obviously current situation uh, we do look at you know what they need what versus you know how much better and obviously comparing to other patients that we've seen in the past you know of how we can relieve them from their pain and discomfort but prior therapy is an option and it's starting to become more and more um, common so this is you see the arthritis foundation which is the org which is which is actually quite a big organ organization they've you know they've got this on their website discussing prior therapy as, as a treatment option so like we said there are many treatment options for one condition however from the safest one when you're going against uh, cortisone and prolet generally Prioritherapy is is recommended to be a, a safer option because, as we mentioned, it's a non-pharmaceutical. Even if you inject it in the wrong spot, it doesn't do anything; it causes no harm. It is pretty much the same glucose that they, you know, when they when you go to the hospital, they put you on a on a drip. Pretty much, it's the same same substance, um, glucose. It's pretty much the same substance. It doesn't harm your body. It's just a an irritant. If you inject it in the wrong spot, then pretty much you know, it doesn't really do anything. Um, other than just you know not have the positive effect that we that we want and you don't have to do it underneath ultrasound guided so i hope that sort of um, gives you enough information